All right, guys, here we are. We are traveling to the great state of Wyoming, the Cowboy State. Is that what it's called, the Cowboy State? And look, at we're in the middle of nowhere in Island Park, and there's a freaking traffic jam. If I wanted to get in a traffic jam, I would have stayed home in L.A. So I drew a pretty good antelope tag um, over in Cody, Wyoming, and it's an eight-hour drive, so it's a long drive, but there's supposedly some big antelope. So we're gonna go over, it's the last four days of the season I've waited, because I had an archery elk tag in New Mexico I've been trying to, trying to fulfill. And uh, so we're headed over there for the last four days of the hunt, to see if we can find a booner antelope, I don't know. I'm not very good at uh, judging them yet, that's why I'm reading Mike Eastman's book on, on hunting trophy antelope. He teaches you how to field judge. And Logan, my cameraman, he's, I, I made him read so he can help me kind of judge how big of an antelope is there by their horns. But uh, let's see what we can do. I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll kill a booner and, and we'll be eating antelope steaks. Maybe we'll be coming home empty-handed. Who knows? That's, that's why we hunt. It's, it's just never a slam dunk. over the hill. If they feed over the hill, that's fine. We can make a mad dash for it and get right on them. But if they spook, they'll run for a little bit. Just kind of watch me. put a stock on but it was more for uh, the practice than anything. Logan was getting a little bored in the truck so he just wasn't big enough. Doesn't have big enough prongs. Could have shot him. He was 200, about 220 yards so look for a bigger one. We got another day and a half so two days if we want. But Logan's, Logan's begging me to kill one because he wants to go home to his girlfriend. That's how we do it out on the plains in Wyoming. We have to stop for uh, lunch every once in a while. Brought some chicken noodle soup with us. Chicken noodle soup. How much you want there, big guy? I can eat about all of that. Yeah. Yeah, I bet. I bet, Logan. I bet. You really want a lot? Yeah, I really do. I'll just cook it off. You think you can eat it all. Throw that on top. We got lunch in uh, 10 minutes. We just saw a group of like 30 antelope. We went chasing them, but the buck was tiny. It was like 12 inches. We're getting to the point, this is a harder unit than I thought. I've waited basically two years to draw this unit, which I means I put in for two years with no, without drawing a tag and getting points. And so I burned those points this year, my third year, and I got this tag, and it's supposedly a really good tag for killing big antelope. And uh, we have seen, I 
think that that big herd probably there's 20 in there so we've probably seen 45 antelope in two days which is usually antelope hunting you see 100 a day no problem but we saw two decent bucks um, I passed on both of them I'm wishing I wouldn't have had now because that buck we saw yesterday was a good good buck but it was the first day I didn't know what was going to happen but we'll cook some lunch we still got two days so who knows Everything worked out just perfect. The stock, the setup, except for one thing. This freaking rangefinder is garbage. I was guessing him at 300 yards. He must have been 400 because I shot right below him. We'll have to watch the tape. I think I missed him just low. Dude, it was perfect. I got down to that knob where I wanted to be. He stood up. I was set up. Pulled the trigger. I thought, I, even the sound, I thought, done. I found him in my scope running away. He wasn't even hit. Shoot. Are you mad at me, Logan? No. I got some great footage. You can't eat footage. I know. Damn it. That sucks. Well, we'll find another one. It's all about steps. I always tell you guys it's about steps. It's about finding them, and then it's about finding them and getting them close. I, I threw this step in where you find them, get close, and you shoot and you miss. The next step is you find them, you get close, you shoot, and you're eating back straps that night. Just not tonight. Well, maybe tonight. So it's still early in the day. <laughs> Antelope's an easy hunt. You're just gonna drive around, see him, and kill him. It's my second year doing it, both times. It's taken me three days. Maybe I'm a bad hunter, I don't know. I passed up some good bucks today. Tonight was basically our last night. We gotta be back tomorrow. So, so anything dies. I missed a good one this morning, really nice one. And uh, we saw this one, I said, let's go kill him. So I shot him and, and uh, hit him. Um, I think just a little far forward, and uh, he was dead, but he was trying to get up, so I hate to have him suffer, so I just put him down again. And let's go see how he is. He's not a huge goat, but man, he's going to eat good, I think, so. Finally got it done, man. Logan was starting to get a little upset. We've been out here, this is our, actually our second day hunting, and uh, we've had a ton of chances. We, the very first day we got here, um, Wednesday night, or Thursday, no, wait, Wednesday night we got here. And we got here at like 4.30, checked in the hotel. I said, let's go check out the unit. I've never been here before. So we ran up and uh, that night we saw an absolute giant buck. And uh, Logan was trying to get me to shoot him, but I said, first day, man, I really want to kill a giant. Let's, I think we can find a bigger one. So the next day, yesterday we went out and we hunted all day long. We saw some decent antelope, um, nothing huge. But what I learned is these antelope out here aren't like the areas I've hunted before, man. You've got to really hunt for them. They lay down in the 
this tall sage and can't see them during the day. Like a lot of times the antelope will be out feeding all day, but these antelope over here are a little wary, so it's kind of hard to find them. But we saw an absolute giant again this morning. And, yeah, he was big. Uh, huge buck, but we couldn't get on him and he kind of disappeared. And then we found another group that had a good, uh, good buck in there and we went after him. Perfect setup, I mean, I would have never dreamed we could have got this close. We got in and they were there, they were bedded 400 yards. I snuck down the hill a little bit, took a shot, and I totally missed, man, right over the top of them. And I don't know what happened. And then a little frustrated. And then about an hour ago, we found another group of, deer, of um, goats. And one one was a decent buck, like a 16 inch buck. We out, went after him, we got right in on him again, about 100 yards. Um, close. Yeah, the does come out and spotted us, and he was kind of in a little coulee. I couldn't, I could just see his head. I couldn't get a shot at him. The does winded us, and they took off, and he went. And I was thinking, man, that might be our last chance. And then Logan spotted this one, and we went after him. I shot him once, and uh, didn't hit him so well. Back here a little bit, a little far back, and uh, we come up over the hill, and he was just bed down. He was, he was gonna die, but I hate having him suffer, so I put one more in him, and. And uh, here he is, man. So great goat, not not a not a giant, but this this thing's gonna eat well. It's a good last day buck, and I'm happy to have Logan here with me to film it. He did a great job. Well, hopefully he did. If you guys like the video, thumbs it up because uh, Logan's the one that videotaped it all. So just want to say thanks um, to my wife for letting me do this. I just want to say thank you to you guys for watching. This has always been my dream to uh, come out and hunt and film them and share them with you guys, and uh, I'm doing it. And it, it's hard for Kaylee because she's at home for sometimes for two or three weeks with the kids by herself and uh, I just want to say thanks honey I appreciate it also want to say thanks to uh, Golden Valley natural beef jerky man it's you know I always preach it and uh, they're one of my sponsors but honestly another one of my dreams to always to uh, have an unlimited supply of jerky and not just jerky but awesome jerky and those guys supply me with it and you guys love it so keep supporting those guys because they help me come out and do this stuff so thanks guys and uh, See you next time. Well, this is how we do it, I guess. Wyoming antelope style. Today, while we were driving around, my freaking window fell off the track. So no window. It hasn't rained in. It looked like it was going to rain all weekend. And then as soon as we kill this goat, this is what happens. We, luckily, we got the goat taken care of. And uh, we're trying to get out of here. Man, this is flash flood country big time. And this they're just freaking, they're nothing but freaking slick. And I'm holding this bag up while I'm trying to drive it. And my truck's getting filthy. I hope my freaking electronics don't short out or something. All right, enough, okay? We learned our lesson. Just let us be. This rain is crazy. No man, this is why we do it. It's always the unexpected. You never know what's gonna happen. You just gotta have the secret is to be prepared. That's why I brought garbage bags because I thought, what if my window falls off the track and kill an antelope and get stuck in a rainstorm? I'm gonna want some garbage bags. So that's why I brought them. Always prepared. That's why I'm a boy scout. That's the scout model. Be prepared. And uh, I am, and we're prepared. We're gonna make it out just fine. Um, I'm gonna be a little wet, my hands freezing, but. Give me a glove to put on so I can keep 